Welcome to the Las Vegas Strip, and to be more precise, the Pocogo Studio at the Aria Resort and Casino. This is High Stakes Duel 3, Round 4. $800,000 on the line as Phil Helmuth and Scott Seaver square off for the big box. My name is Rem Karinkama. I am joined by Donnie Peters as we provide you a one hour free preview of the action between these two superstars. Donnie, who do you got, who do you got tonight? I think I gotta go with my man, Phil. I don't know if he's my man, but you know. Phil Helmuth, the reigning and defending, two-time defending champion of this high stakes duel format, but he goes up against a man who has 24.3 million in career tournament earnings, and he goes by the name of Scott Seaver. It's an honor to do this for you guys, this free preview on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. We are live for the first hour for free. Then we're going to kick it on over to uh, Brent Hanks and Nick Schulman on the call on the main station. Little look at these scenarios here in round four. If Phil wins, he goes to nine and one on high stakes duel. He cannot cash out, however, until after round five. So whatever happens tonight, we're going to need round five in high stakes duel three. Then, of course, as you can see on the screen, the buy-in will double again. Also, if Scott wins, same thing applies. We're going to have to have a round five match. So whatever happens tonight, we're going to have a $1.6 million match on High Stakes Duel at some point in the future. But who it will be between, it's going to be wait and see. And as we all know, Helmut likes to take it slow here in these matches. So sit back, relax, grab a drink, popcorn at the, at the ready. It's going to be a tremendous match. We're very excited to do this for you guys. We're going to do some giveaways here on our free preview stream. But most of all, we're going to enjoy the action between these two superstars. Please let us know in the chat where you're watching from. And let's see how this match Three plays things, out. Three Scott. Yes, One, Phil. I like and respect you, my man. Appreciate it, Phil. Appreciate <laughs> it. Here we go. What are the other two? <laughs> Second thing, let me finish my brain fuel. Absolutely. OK. You get all the fuel you need. And third thing, are you going to raise every button? No, of course not. <laughs> I, I respect you far too much for that, please. OK. Is Phil still on keto? Is brain fuel keto? This one no I have. No idea. Though. This one is one of the ones I'm going to. All right, Donnie, let me ask you this question. He's faced Tom Dwan, Nick Wright, Antonio Esfandiari, and, of course, Daniel Negreanu. Is this his toughest opponent yet? I'm going to say Check. it's it's right up there with Daniel, just because Daniel had done so much studying for his matches or his match Daniel against Doug Polk check, must be good to um, in, in the heads-up realm. Yet. So, you know, Daniel has certainly improved his game tenfold from where he was, you know, years ago. And he was one of the best years ago, but he's he's gotten up with the modern Snap game. Point. Easy because of your um, hand you know, or because I'm weak? I, I or think that I would like, I, I might lean to, to Doug Polk's room. expertise a little bit here on, on, a, on a podcast that he did where – he talked about, you know, ranking the best players, poker players 3, ever. And he said he said Seaver doesn't study as much as he Figure this gives you an could or should and therefore and isn't as good as he could be because he doesn't put in the time and effort that some other players do. So I might give the nod to Negrani, but listen, Seaver is he's ready to go. He's certainly a top player, has a ton of experience, which I don't think that we should, you know, overlook playing against Helmy specifically. So eight thousand more, maybe I would do something else, but a total amount. Hey, total, that's all you. Four waters for Scott Seaver, brain fuel, brain fuel for Helmuth. We might need some bathroom breaks here as this match goes into the night. Here's a look at some high stakes dual stats. Of course, the back to back sweep versus Esfandiari and Negranu. Then, high stakes dual three, the most interesting one so far. Beat Nick Wright, lost to Dwan, defeated Dwan, and then, of course, Dwan backed out at the last minute here for this current match. And Scott Seaver is the one who stepped up to the plate, as we saw in the way in. Nick Schulman also I mean, hopefully one bottom. of the players interested. Check. We're going to try to keep it as quiet Check. as we can to hear as much of the table talk as possible. I'm hoping for a classic Seaver where he tries to get under the skin of Helmuth. We know he can, and we know he's good at it. Well, yes, yeah, Scott's just an all-time needler, especially of Helmuth. All right, let's see. No, I thought he was going to jump into some kind of story. Uh, I just want to let everyone know who's watching right now. If you're watching on YouTube, please smash like and subscribe to our channel. To kick in for you. 
because I feel like I got to start, start getting my winning in now before it kicks in. <laughs> well, I started about an hour ago on the brain field. Oh, God. An hour and a half. That, come on, that's unfair for me. I used to just slam them, and then I, I read the directions. Oh, you're supposed to, like... You're supposed oh, it has to, like, direction. <laughs> go a little easier on them. As I was about to say, please smash like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to do our first giveaway of the night here on the free channels just to get everyone excited about the match. Donnie Peters, who is to my right, has uh, allowed me to give away a few items. And the first thing we're going to give away is a Helmuth Mania shirt. If you're a wrestling fan, you'll get the reference. Uh, Helmuth Mania t-shirt. for you, Phil. Yes. Do you think it affected me that you stopped talking mid-sentence there before the race? I don't know. Because I feel you would do that for lots of people, assuming you could, you know, navigate what that does to them. I'm curious where I get rated I, in I for feel that. Like, I feel like to underestimate you would be a grave mistake. So. No, I, I didn't even mean it like that. I was genuinely just curious. Top pair for Helmuth sure. here. Middle pair for Seaver. Well, why isn't there more money in the pot? Yeah, where's the money? Seaver also, of course, with the flush draw. Chuck. There's the club. Quick, immediate check by Seaver. Four the 4,000 4, chip bet from Helmuth. Are you doing the same thing to me that I was trying to do to you? Same exact spot. Can't only I raise here. I mean, this is complete shenanigans, Phil. Ten seconds. <sighs> Whatever. Everyone always talks, and then they get too scared. Fifteen thousand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This feels weird. Like the way he's talking. He, he really seemed un he unsure seemed, of himself He seemed there. unsure and uneasy. Look at that. Now he's all confused now. What do we think, chat? Is he going to make the call here? <coughs> Did Seaver's table talk work? Let us know. What do you think? Think fast. Ten seconds. Oh, boy. I guess I'll fold. Save wow. Save time extension. Yeah. One for Seaver here. Wow, something didn't seem right though. No. <laughs> what the hell no. I had right. at least an ace. But you probably well, didn't of course. know that. <laughs> it's hard to tell. All right, it back is. to my also, giveaway. You know, either you have the best hand or you don't, and that's fine. You know what I mean? That's right, Scott. I had at least an ace. That's the truth. Sure, but no, no <laughs> little one pair of hands beat anything yeah, other than bluffs. You could have made a little jack eight. But something was yeah. <laughs> I'm a little crazy early. All right, uh, let, let us know who you want to win tonight, Helmuth or Seaver. Let us know in the chat right now. Uh, See, after, not every hand. after the next two hands, we're going to give away the T-shirt. Uh, anyone in the chat is eligible. I'll call out someone's name, and we'll send you the T-shirt wherever you are in the world. Helmuth Mania T-shirt, our first giveaway prize of was, the day. That was a, probably a supposed to call you there. I have to see. No, but it's much better to fold and say you're supposed to call, because then you look better in the camera either way. You know what I mean? Either, <laughs> either you made the right choice or you set it afterwards. So this is much better for your ego. So, you know, just keep folding and then saying you should call. That's not about ego. No, but I'm saying it just looks better. Should we just go home, Donnie? I don't think they need us, <laughs> but that's fine. All right, you keep an eye on the strategy. I'll keep an eye on the giveaway. Uh, and you have to be a subscriber to a YouTube channel to be eligible for the giveaway. That's just one little requirement here. So please smash like and subscribe on our video during this one-hour free preview of the action. This really Eight. is like a great table for heads up. Yeah. Super nice. 800K on the line tonight. Oh, keep them coming. Pretty nope. evenly Wait, divided between Seaver and Helmuth now in the chat. Lots of Seaver fans. Great That's to see. Disappointing. I a <laughs> nice, really nice hand. One I could make aces with, or the nut flush with. Well, I also could have made aces with my hand. It just had to come ace-ace. <laughs> right. Well, then I may have tripped, so. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, I feel like this wasn't happening in your other matches. We, well, me, because you've played them all. But like, you know, we play a little differently than lots of other people in these spots. That's all. Hold on, Donnie. Is Scott Seaver buttering up Helmuth to get him to be yeah, weaker? What is happening yeah. right now? Yeah, I, I think it's all a plan. A lot. <laughs> it's all you Seaver's plan. I know, da I know Daniel lets some go. Not many. Not many, but some. Great. All right. Check. All right, two more minutes for the giveaway. Oh. Smash subscribe. Let us know who Check. you want to win, Seaver or Helmuth, in the chat, and I'll pick a random sure. winner for the Helmuth Mania t-shirt. Check. Just a casual boat here. Four. Good bet. Thank you. What's your prediction, Donnie, on how, when you said how long the match like, is going to be about. today? I just keep laughing because we're never going to be able to get any words. I, uh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Would you ask me now? You, yeah, I was going to say you couldn't beat mine. Not that time. Not a queen. Can't even say anything. Yeah, that, how that long do you think the match is going to go? That time it was me. Four yeah, hours. high, though. It might have yeah. been good. Not Buckle that time, up. But it, it could be. <clears throat> Check. All right, all right, after this hand, doing the giveaway. <laughs> Good luck. If I can get a word in. They, they accept tips. You know, there you go. Just toss in that one guy. <laughs> That's disappointing. I had the hand I won the main event with. On the other hand, it did come two over cards. So. You know, you pick up the nines and button. You want to limp in and. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there. I know. Flop a set and have your opponent. Have Everyone the knows nines always make the most sets. That's what me and my friends have said for a long time now. The winner of the giveaway, Trevor Kaufman. Trevor Kaufman. Hit us up, or hit PokerGo up on Twitter. Twitter.com slash PokerGo. Send us a DM. I'm going to have to. With a screenshot of you logged into YouTube. I have to call. Trevor Kaufman. Congrats. Helmet Mania shirt coming your way. I designed that shirt. Wow. I should get royalties. You can do everything. Four hearts on the board here. Helmuth has one as well. Interesting spot here for Seaver. Still beats a lot of nothing. Great board to bluff on for Helmuth. I got it. He does have it. Very confident to say that when a straight flush is possible. <laughs> you had one. The music comes in. That means I have to say something important. Uh, tail of the tape here, Helmuth versus Seaver. 57 to 37. Could be his dad. Yeah. Started young. <laughs> Madison, Wisconsin versus Long Island, New York. 27.1 million versus 24.3 and 16 to 3 in the bracelet count. Both tremendous players with incredible resumes. Awesome to see them go head to head here. As of course we always see in high stakes duel, trading blows in the early goings. The the stacks are deep. It's it's a slow structure, uh, which really seems to suit Helmut's style, Donnie. Um, or do you think that we have to also? You know, give him a big nod in the way of the variants being on his side in these uh, prior matches. I mean, I, I think it just suits his style. You know, Seaver talked about it in the weigh-in. Phil cares tremendously. In the booth, I guess I can eat a little. <laughs> check. No, you don't mind what they say, anyways. You know, yeah. check. Check, check. The uh, Eric Person match that he played on the PGT Heads Up Showdown is definitely still resonating a lot with poker fans. Wyatt on Facebook said, I want to, he I want to hear Phil get called the B word again. That was a fantastic match. Uh, do you think Person had the right approach, Donnie, to get under Helmut's skin in the way that he did in order to book the win there? Yeah. I mean, it, it takes a special kind of person to get under Phil's skin. Not everyone pushes back against Phil. Um, and, and person, you know, he also did it with his play, not just his mouth, it's which was just that one-two punch. Wait that like 15 seconds in posture, as if I have to think. You know how it is, Phil. 
Oh, oh, here we go. Here first, we go. the first yeah, food. Enough posturing. Eleven, right? Oh my God, is this a sandwich? Cool. Oh, pasta maybe. You got the fork out. Might be, might be the dumplings from the the dumpling place. Oh my God, he I loves that dumpling place. I mean, at Aria. Do you guys in the chat enjoy Helmy's crazy food habits on the stream as much as we do? Because I'm always looking forward to High Stakes Duel even more because of it. Seventeen. We should do a feature on, you know, remember they used to do those features on Michael Phelps and like what he eats in a day? <laughs> we should do one on Phil. Keto. Same sort of thing, you know, gold bracelets, gold medals, 15,000 calories here, 15,000 calories there. I mean, it's the same stuff. Got to oh. be careful. Those rule sticklers will make you go 1,700 there. We have black chips. What is he eating, guys? Come on. Luckily, you know, I've never been that guy ever. Show us the snacks. Yep. Dumplings, Sunny? People nope. try to do that mm, one to me. Kind of like pasta yeah, salad? Got oh, yeah, reverse. orzo oh, salad or something painful. going on? Chicken? I don't know. At least he's using a fork. Honestly, they're going to be okay with it because you're using a utensil, you know? <laughs> See? <laughs> Told you. <laughs> uh, the sideshow is part of the reason why you tune into High Stakes Duel, of course. The hands will get bigger as the match goes on. We're just here to warm you guys up. One hour free preview of the show as Brent Hanks and Nick Schulman are on the call with far more 45. technical analysis on the mothership, Pokego.com. If you are new to Pokego, Donnie, we got, we got quite a nice offer, right? We do. $20 off. I figured that you that can use the, the code, the, so I just copy it. the promo code yeah. DUAL34. Lose a pot, feel a little sad. Do what I can, win this next pot. <laughs> on a new I'm annual down. subscription. If I, did, if I didn't win that hand there, I might have spiraled. <laughs> but now, now I feel good. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's you know like a little meter <laughs> to show luck, like the man. emotional levels? And now we're back, you know, back on the middle, and it feels nice. Nope. You must have had a knife draw there against me in that hand. <clears throat> I mean, Phil, nice swallow enough. before you talk. Uh, everything is nice until you don't have it. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Do you think Siever charges a day rate for his comments? But I guess that means my nice draw had you anyways. <laughs> you only ever asked that if the nice draw had you beat. <laughs> you so I guess Queen High has you beat. I needed you to have nine ten. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I guess Queen 10 had you beat, because you wouldn't have asked otherwise. No, I, you were dead. OK. Uh, in fact, a queen. Queen's extra up. bad for me? Ooh. Feel, feel, queen fills me up. Ooh. <laughs> you know what? I'll be happy then. Check. Are there any acceptable foods at the poker table, Donnie, that you can eat? Or is eating in general just should not be allowed at the poker table? And by the way, chat, let sure. us know. Do you eat at the table? What do you eat? Yeah. And, and what I are eat at the table. Acceptable. I, acceptable. The table. Yeah? I mean, it de depends. Fork and knife? Tournament, I won't eat at the table. Um, cash game is, is different. Okay. Because tournaments, well, you, you get the breaks every two hours or whatever. You can jack. go grab Round something. Jack is good. But cash games, if I'm playing like a long cash game session, yeah. Just walk walk back to the table with a slice? You know, I'm I crazy. I, I, I try not to eat like finger middle, food. You know, just play for you know, a thousand years and utensils. look at cards. I'm just like, ah, you know. It's a free world to take a quick look. Yeah. Let's occasionally, occasion, plus occasionally, <laughs> occasionally you find something. Yeah. Kev Matt <laughs> said often. French fries are acceptable often. to some. Right. But more than more than zero. So. Yeah. You know. Granola bars, no finger foods. I agree, Doug. More sushi is zero. okay. No, sushi is not okay at the table. Rack of ribs. Okay, your band. Just three this time. Interesting. Josh What's Heinzel it? said a server once dropped a chip in my pad tie at the <laughs> table. <laughs> <laughs> Check. That's hilarious. <coughs> Check. 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 Ace. Three Pair for threes. Well, no. <laughs> to be an honest man, you know. <laughs> Pair of threes for Seaver. Going to do it. I had two overs. Slight lead for Helmy. <laughs> Fair fight. I mean, chat, how do we feel about Seaver's approach to be friends with Helmuth instead of trying to antagonize him? Do you think this is going to lead to an advantage for Seaver later on in the match? Call. Personally, Sorry. I don't feel so confident about that since Person proved that getting under his skin is definitely a tactic that works. Sure. So, chat, let us know. I'm curious. Um, 8 5 3 here on the board. 8 for Helmuth. Ace high for Seaver. Going to see a turn most likely. Twenty-eight. Club draw for Seaver to make things even more exciting.
both players playing pretty fast. This is the longest Sea Star we thought about any decision oh, yeah, so far. Enough time. 11,000. Oh, here we go with the big raise, Donnie. What do you think? All right. I'll call. I mean, it's a good spot for him to check raise here. He just kind of ran into it. What are you going to do? Do we barrel here? Or is the snap call sort of the the nod to uh, slow down versus someone like Helmuth who tends to just play pretty 000. straight up? Oh, I think you can barrel against Helmuth. I mean, he, he, he makes some tight volts quite a bit. Big bet here from Seaver. This is a pot that's going to swing the action for sure. Do you want to do any business? Helmuth will probably <laughs> just tank here for a bit and make a call. Oh, there's just too many hands I if, can do. If you pay me like 10,000 chips, I'll show you one. Uh, I guess I have to call this. I can beat queens and fives. No, I cannot beat queens and fives. I have nothing. All right. Bluff caught by Helmut, who, of course, had a strong hand. Two pair. I'm going to take that one down. I can beat queens and fives. It's about all. But. Yeah. That's a snap call, right, Donnie? Yeah, five queens and fives there. Get me committed. I don't know if it's a snap, <laughs> but, I mean, I'm calling. <laughs> yeah, it's not your style to show up with queens and fives. Though. No. Three. If you're just tuning in, it's this is High Stakes yeah, Duel. Call, high Stakes Duel 3, round 4. $800,000 on the line today. Whoever wins tonight will need to win one more round before they can cash out. So we're going to see a $1.6 million match on High Stakes Duel regardless of the result tonight. And of course, each player has the option to challenge the other in case it, they were to lose. No, it's the opposite. It's that you really wanted to, but realize you probably can't after me losing the pot. It was the exact opposite, <laughs> Phil. So I know that's why you have to say it this way. Come on, Phil, please. <laughs> well, <laughs> you see a few things, so. Yeah. <laughs> What's nice about me is I'm not like the other guys where, like, you know, Daniel's like, oh, I just play my cards. You know I'm crazy. I, d I don't just play my cards. So, like, you know I'll actually get in these emotional streets with you. Does this feel it makes it fun. genuine from Seaver? It feels, yeah. a, it feels oh, yeah, a little yeah. off to me. No, I, I think it's genuine. I mean, every time I've seen them in any sort of tournament setting, they, they're all, like, Seaver's always trying to, That's to talk true. with Helmuth on, That's on this level. Call. Ten high. If you want to continue watching after the hour is done, head on over to pokergo.com right now. Sign up using the annual promo code DUAL34. Beautiful view here of Las Vegas. There's another promo code. We have so many promo codes these days. It's we phenomenal. do. That's uh, probably my fault. <laughs> continue watching and save 20 bucks. <laughs> HSD 3R4 also works on the promo code engine for the annual subscription. And keep in mind, World Series of Poker is right around the corner, so you're not just signing up for this match. You're also signing well, up for the upcoming WSOP, streaming tons of events live as well as the main event. And we're going to do plenty of fun stuff during the WSOP, followed by more exciting poker action in the fall as well. So the annual subscription will be well worth your time and money. And PokerGo does have live chat, by the way. Just click on the video player on the front page once you're logged in, and you'll be sent on over to the, um, the video player that has the live chat attached to it. So no chat on the front page, but if you click on the video, you will be right in there in the live chat with all the other poker fans. And I'm just going to say this right now. This could be a long one, given how Seaver probably thinks he has the upper hand, but Helmy will never go from his style, which is small ball, small pots, and really trying to grind out his opponent. Raise from Seaver here with the straight. How many has top pair? You can take the big ones and let me win the small ones like these, you know? Okay. Hold. Thank you. Wow, I smashed that flop. How did I end up folding? What the fuck? Good fold by Helmuth. He is a good fold. <laughs> and that's the beauty of poker, you know what I mean? The yeah. fortunes just change very quickly with a card or yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. 
Bender Rodriguez is wondering how much is Poker Go after the dis discount. The river. Well, before the discount, it's ninety nine ninety nine. Take twenty off. That's seventy nine ninety nine. That's less than seven dollars a month, I believe it comes out to. That's less than a Starbucks coffee these days. <laughs> Tell me about it. Inflation is no joke, but we did not inflate our prices. <laughs> they remain the same. So actually, Poker Go got cheaper. <laughs> Poker Go did get cheaper. Twelve. If you're just tuning in on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch, please follow our channel, like, and subscribe. Yeah, Do all the things that help us reach a wider yeah. audience. <clears throat> this is the risk we run in these spots, you know? Got to be very uh, Phil Helmy's shirt there is looking a little Luckily old. Luckily, you're Phil Helmy. <laughs> <laughs> Which means I have a lot of confidence. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> I feel like he's been wearing the same outfit for the last three years. Yeah, a, a very similar one. Has I anyone else done any limping? Or am I the first to do any limping? Phil has for sure limped. <laughs> Not much limping in anything. Yeah. Duan. Duan limped. Duan limped some? Duan limped a lot. He was raising every button until... Until you taught him not to? Until I... Persuaged him otherwise? No, he was fine. 45. Raise 45. Okay, here we go. Chuck. Okay. Okay. I mean, smashes his flop. Quick check, check from both players, three in a turn. Okay. Giving Seaver some showdown value. Okay. Wow, surprise how many checks behind there. Chuck. Half pot from Helmuth. Do you think Seaver can find some hands that he's beating in this situation? I don't see anything he's beating. Isaac says on YouTube, it's insane how Helmuth hits every board. A lot of calls. Okay. Good. Seaver feels like a little bit of a station so far early on. Could have played a bigger one. Could have played a lot bigger one. Oh, really? Cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a weird feeling you hit that flop. I'm like, ugh. Nah, I didn't. Well, like, you know, whatever. Tens, you know? Tens, yeah. yeah. yeah if you think that, then don't you want to bet the turn at least? With your two pair? With your two pair? <laughs> <laughs> Hope he has, like, ace king? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So for some definitions hit, but like no. not actually, you know what I mean? Check. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Check. Check, check. Check. Check, check. 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 <laughs> Very quick play, by the way. I think the average speed of a hand is probably like 70 seconds yeah. that goes to the river. Just keep it moving, boys. Jacob Park is wondering uh, if Tony G might play on High Stakes Duel in the future. Well, we're trying to get every single top-notch player and personality in the room here to battle on High Stakes Duel, as you all know. Big games at the Bellagio? <coughs> uh, th there was like a week and a half ago for a week, or maybe two weeks ago now, there was for about a week straight. <coughs> what are you guys playing? <coughs> we're playing like the normal mix we used to play, like the regular like AK mix. Which was nice to get back to. Like, what limit? Uh, I never liked the crazy games. Uh, 2K, 4K? Oh, Chuck. No big deal. Yeah, you know. It's 2K, 4K. We got, th we got the biggest and the best. One mortgage, here. two mortgages. Not that everybody's <laughs> in a good mood when I show up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck. No, it's a place with lots of people that are not often in a good mood. Ten high. Ten nine? Ten high. Oh, ten high. I can be ten high. 
10 9. I was less excited no, no, about that. That's what I was saying. I'm like, what a read he must have. Like a dead wrong one. <laughs> but wow, what a read. Check back, check back, check back. 10 9. And to say it like that, you know, like, uh, of course you've got it, Scott. Like, I would have not been emotionally prepared. Anyway, back to my original point. <laughs> We're trying to get every single top player in this room to battle, but as you know, you have to win three in a row on high stakes duel to cash out, or two in the row after uh, round four. 3, and that's where we are right now. So yeah. hopefully, whenever, wh whoever wins tonight, we're going to get a rematch most likely, and then sure. it's going to be interesting to see Check. what's going to happen for that $1.6 million match, because this could keep escalating 3.2, 6.4, $12.8 million. Dollars. Twelve hundred. Eric Person would be fun versus Helmy. Deuce. Good bet. I called you with King Eye. Yeah. All right, let's do our next giveaway in the chat. We're going to give away yeah, a Queen 4 <coughs> off Helmy t-shirt. Whenever I stop by that room, <laughs> some real heavy misery. emotions at times. Every, but everybody's miserable. Yeah. And I'm like, it, honestly, it depends. Much less so now. Well, you're not going to be one of the guys that's miserable. No, never. But there's, yeah. in, in general, it's. I mean, sure, you, might, a get, less you might get buried and be frustrated. Of course, but that's different from like the aura that you know some people will yeah. exude in that room. Yeah. Brief look there at the commentators, Brent Hanks and Nick Shulman on the call on the main station on Pokego.com. Donnie, you, you should answer this okay. question. Palakalooza says, why do the dealers run the board out board out of order? For TV. Thank you. Is that how it works? Still messes with my fucking head, though. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. I can't imagine what it's like being a dealer. And then all of a sudden you have to do it in reverse? Yeah, I mean, they're really good at it. They've, they've obviously learned, you know, how to do it for these, these TV tables, but yeah. But yeah, we have a Helmut <coughs> Queen 4 offsuit t-shirt to give away today. Um, I, want, I want to just hear it again. Who you got tonight? Seaver okay. or Helmut? Have you changed your mind? Uh, yeah, if I not, told my wife. I said, hon, I'm going to go to Bellagio. I'm going to start playing, you know, in the big games, the two 4,000 yeah. games. Because I've Call. been winning so much money everywhere I go, yeah, including the tournaments. Good bluff, Phil. And so, <laughs> call. I call. I call the bluff. And you went, and you're like, "This is not good for my I emotional state I, to I, be here." Well, I also never. I hate losing. Like, I, it's really sad, but I hate. I hate losing 250. Like, 250 yeah. bothers me. Yeah. So if I can win three million, I, it's, I'm happy. But if I lose 250, I, everyone has a number for that. That's like very normal. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Psychiatry session. My number, like, I, that's how but I, I like. Know, you know, because I have a number too. I like my number is one dollar. <laughs> if I'm losing one dollar, <laughs> I'm in fucking outer space. Twenty-five hundred. I wonder if people in the chat are, are predicting who's going to win or who they want to win. Either way, smash like and subscribe. Support the channel. We're releasing daily clips, by the way. We just had the most insane hand between Phil Ivey, Daniel Legrano, and Patrick Antonis on High Stakes Poker last night. Yes, new season is out, season nine. 9 new episodes every Monday. Well, we have two or three left. We're getting close to the end of the season. It's been phenomenal so far, so go check out that clip as well on our YouTube and Facebook channels. Full house here for Seaver, yeah, by the way. One dollar is a tough amount for me to emotionally overcome. <laughs> Rocks Tar says, "How can you read the comments if they pass and scroll so quickly?" True. Because you know, I'm really, I'm really I'm smart. Go play, if I'm going to go in that room and play, uh, you know, once a month, twice a month. Yeah, th th that's also much harder emotionally. Instead of the feeling like I can get it back tomorrow, exactly. or I'll take 36 hours off, like clear my head and then get back in there. Right. It's a, it's a lot Which harder I would mentally. Which force myself to do that. Of course. Anyway. Are you folding? Are you okay? <laughs> Just all the chips disappeared. Uh, Six thousand. Himmy on Twitch is asking, are these heads-up sit and goes with, with a blind increase? Yes, they are. Heads-up sit and goes with a blind increase. I believe every is it every 20 minutes, Donnie? The blinds go up. I think it's every half hour. Wow. Really slow structure, that's for sure. I know Phil prefers the slow structure. Yeah, clearly. He's been very successful at it. Up to 
OTBVA is asking, is this live? Yes, we are live right now. Of course, on a delay. For this. Interesting call here from Phil. Chuck. Eighty-five. What are you thinking, Donnie? Ten seconds. I I don't really know what I'm 30, thinking. Thirty thousand. I wouldn't have raised though. Really hoping Helmuth has an ace here. The the problem with raising though, even if you think Helmuth has an ace, is, is Helmuth is very willing to just get rid of aces like this. Like mm -hmm. he he's he folds really tight a lot. Seventy-five thousand. Wow. Okay. What just happened? <coughs> this is kind of shades Hold of on. the. This is crazy. Shades of the Negron new hand. Remember when he played like was it the eight-three? Just played like like wild at one point. Like this is kind of like that. He's just wow. Hold on. You better pay attention <laughs> right now. Adjust. Don't adjust your TV. This is actually happening right now. Helmy just went for it. Seventy-five K with ten high versus Seaver who raised the turn with trips. Definitely did not see this coming. Call. Makes the call. What is Hamid going to do in the river? This could be a crucial hand here. We're only 37 minutes into the match. Chuck. Four Chuck. of hearts. King queen. Well, wow. Phil just snap shut it down, too. Wow. Didn't even think about bluffing. Big pot here for Scott Seaver, who takes the chip lead up to 437,000 chips. As Helmut's bluff fails, I wonder if he is now going to slow it down a little bit. I had a 10-9 high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely. I mean, that makes like the most sense of anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I'm like. Or rather, once I won the hand. He's gonna check raise me light soon for sure. Oh, absolutely. And I'm ready. Yeah. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna be ready to repop. No, I honestly think there was like nothing wrong with the hand. You already check side, raised you. Know what you. I mean? And this is where I always raise because I'm mad, right? Yeah, that's why I'm only limping. 7,000 more. Yeah. Colin Brown says 910 off is the new Queen 4, if this works. It didn't work, so Did got to stick work. with Queen 4. Speaking of Queen 4, final, you know, final uh, normally moments I here. I wouldn't, like, tell you that that's what you do, but, you know. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's the line around it? You know, I could let you eat your, your, sour, your sour Patch Kids all day, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've got time. i got to break you. I actually you. had an ace this time, though. I was... <laughs> People want a 10-9 shirt. I, uh, that, that was, it's not even in the same uh, stratosphere as what he did with the queen four. Just, <laughs> just be like, quiet Scott's out there, people. Yeah. The money with queen 10 here. Oh, well, well, that's the thing, too. Like, that's the, like, to compliment myself and you, that is true, but I knew that, which is why I chose to play my hand a little funky like that, you know? So, like, so. it works both ways. <laughs> All right, the Queen Four shirt goes to Daniel Roberts, who said Helmuth. He's sticking with Helmuth. I love it. Daniel Roberts, send us a DM on Twitter, twitter.com slash pokergo. Chuck. We'll send you that T-shirt. Send us a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account, and that T-shirt will be coming your way. By the way, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We much appreciate it. We're also live on Twitch and hey, Facebook sorry. for this first hour. Before kicking it to Brent Hanks and Nick Schulman. Well, um. now we're starting to get some money in with some water. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, I'm the one with 10 high and yeah. bottom pair. Okay. That just shows how you know to, how you know to adjust to your competition, you know? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, 75,000. 75. 10 uh, offsuit. Oh, my God. Uh, honestly, the moment that king came, I was like, wow, check raise is going to be so nice here. Queen deuce for Seaver, close. Yeah, you're never raising there with the... Very close. That says 800 because I folded. Oh, I didn't even study. I'm like, I'm going. Yeah. Fuck, I wish I would have taken a moment to study. Maybe I can save. 
Maybe you could have saved Maybe seventy-five thousand. I, <laughs> I was ready for you to say a different 66, number. Sixty-six. Sixty-six. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I already I bluffed up. I was like, yeah, yeah. The eighty-five is obviously that's gone. gone. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, gone. Yeah, that's gone. We kissed that one goodbye. You're right. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, Phil, I'm sorry. You bluffed one hand, and now you got a raise. Do you think the audience knows why you're doing this now, or only me? And you. Uh, Trevor Kaufman sent us a DM on Twitter. you think you when you have the chip lead, so you want to make bigger pots to up the chance you have the chip lead. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you can laugh, Bill. You know it's true. <laughs> I know you're trying to hold in the laugh. Yeah. We all, we both know that's true. I just didn't know if the audience knew. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a different style to give you the chance. I, I should be counting my stack to know exactly how far away you are from having me covered, just to like play correctly based on it. Trevor Kaufman, DM on Twitter, twitter.com slash pokergo. Send us a DM, and we'll figure it out. Chuck. Yeah. Ace King. No good. Yeah. See? You, you lose some chips, and now you just start splashing with Ace King. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking that you watched the... You watched all the bullshit where they said I always race the next hand, and now I have Ace King. Yeah, <laughs> it's. And but but here's now the he's going to re-race me with Ace King. Do play. you think I would trust what other people say? <laughs> well, I've just been very stubborn my whole life. You know, I gotta trust myself. Yeah. Trust myself. Adam Glaze on Facebook says I changed my mind. Seaver is too talkative. Go poker brat. Do you do, oh, do you think Helmy is Helmy just winning yeah, some fans for himself? 6, yes. This one I would. This one I definitely would. It's a, it's, a, it's a little much. Absolutely. It's a little much. much. It's a little much. I'm going to bet two in the dark. Okay. I'm going to have to wait. I'm sorry. This one I got to No, we're on the turn. Can you deal the turn? It's Go check, ahead. check, flop, and that's the turn. Oh. Thank you. So you. Yeah. Wait, is it? Oh, I guess. Okay. That card I can call. And you should wait for the river, Phil, because lots of things can happen in reverse. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to inform you to wait for the river. True, true. I'm yeah. thinking. I'm gonna yeah, wait. I'm going to inform for you to wait for the river. See, like that card changes a ton of things. Yeah. Straight again for Seaver. How am I stuck with ten just thousand. ten high? Yeah. Ooh, a little, little check raise action perhaps? Or is this like no, just some Hollywooding? Uh, yeah. See ya. Good bet. Kim Lawrence says Seaver has nervous energy. Definitely, definitely feels like that a little bit. But it also seems to be very calculated. Seaver is one of the brightest minds in the game, so I can only imagine this is all part of his big plan. Ooh, but on a heart, baby. Woo! Zootmaster says, like Scott this. is making me love him. But yeah. my instincts were, if something was like, ah, you might just have queen high here. I'm, I'm 0 for 1 on flush draws today. Mm -hmm. No, 0 for 2. 0 for 2 on flush draws. I had a second flush draw. The people are divided on Scott Seaver. Let us know in the chat. Do you love oh, see, you or hate Scott Seaver? 48, Phil. Come on. With his current Old. antics. You're going to have to earn it. I'm not going to be handing you the chips like this, please. I wish I would have limped. You're in here just trying to, trying to play big pots. Small ball Seaver, though. You, you can't do that. <laughs> you up with that hand. A little ooh, baby. Really good hand. That's yeah. what we call a big pair. This is what Very I'm big saying. Pair. Yeah. You're in your own head playing worse no, right because now. You should have you, No, because you think that I'm not going to have it the next hand, so I have Do it. I think that, though? Do you well, think I think that? You were trained to think that. <laughs> I often try to think things and fail. 17,000. Lots of love for Seaver so far. That's good. Good to see. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the match. It's definitely hard to get a word in sometimes, but I guess it makes our job a lot easier as Helmut and Seaver are battling here for 800K. By the way, Donnie, it doesn't feel like they're playing for 800K. It doesn't yet, but it's still early in the match. They're, they're super deep. It'll be interesting to see if, if this friendliness, if this chatter keeps up as the stakes get higher, the stacks get shallower. Sure. Definitely lots of Scott Seaver fans, which is great to see, as Helmut has plenty, as we just saw, during the giveaway. 2,000. 
50 minutes left, by the way, on the free preview. Use promo code DUAL34 for $20 off the annual sub if you want to continue watching. Chuck. Ace of hearts on the turn completes a possible flush draw. However, both players holding diamonds in this hand. Chuck. Lots of Got a pair. instant like actions times. from Seaver. Ten Ryan, Ryan DePaulo in the chat said he hates them both. <laughs> Someone else asked if this is live. Yes, it's live. Glad diamonds. Ah! Uh, left off. <sighs> left off 66,000 into his set. Three kids for the queen. Let's start doing some deep exhales, deep breaths. <laughs> We're going to get through this, Phil, you and I. We're going to get through this together. <laughs> Maybe maybe my favorite line of the night so far. Cl Clockton on Twitch makes a good point. He says, I like Scott in a heads-up match because it isn't just dead air. Chuck. Definitely a lot more table talk than in the previous Chuck. match versus Tom Dwan. Chuck. Although Dwan was pretty relaxed in the match against Helmut. Just <laughs> a full house. I was going to show cameras, <laughs> but they already know. They already know. Wait, is that sixes full of sevens, Phil? Yeah, yes, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Phil, you gotta start like tapping the table. Your voice is giving it away every hand. Right. You just went, oh, Chuck, on that river. Right, like, right, come right, on, right. Phil. <laughs> just check back, five high, three streets. <laughs> oh, that sucks for me. You're supposed to this fire five. This is what five I'm high. saying. Five oh, high. I should have bet the That's turn. That's what I'm saying, five high. <laughs> should have bet the turn. <laughs> Whew. Five high, that hurts. That's what I'm, that's yeah. why I had to do the whole thing. It's that, that like, you know, hurts, ace high, that king hurts. high, it's whatever. Five high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check. So I did it right. Uh, 32. That's right. Jeremy is asking us, Donnie, why do you think Phil gets a bad rep? Well. If you if you saw the little video at the start of the show, you probably realize why with all his Seven? cussing and, and and crazy antics, um, yeah, berating of players, <laughs> demeaning, rudeness, all that sort of stuff. At the same time, though, Donnie, maybe that video has sort of scared him into uh, being on his best behavior tonight. So far, even though, of course, yeah, you know, it, it might last tonight, and then that's about <laughs> it. Just wait till the World Series <laughs> of Poker. We'll, we'll get Phil. Okay, that means it's time. Full helmet again. Paul's good. How many waters is Scott Seaver going to drink tonight? My God. I have to go to the bathroom Check. just watching him drink like four bottles in the last 40 minutes. Let's see what Phil goes here for sizing. 16. Okay. Quick fold from Seaver. Phil did lose that big pot bluffing, but he's he's... Chipped back up a little bit, got the stacks back closer Phil's here to, to even. Play today. Phil's always here to play, Scott. I can tell right now, the brain fuel kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now I gotta change everything for like 20 minutes until you get used to the brain fuel. You never know, you. Uh... <laughs> I feel like we need, like, help me to get unlucky in a spot to really get him fired up, and maybe then Seaver will play back at him. Verbally, as well. Yes, I mean, I don't really know what's going on here, but we got the uh, three dudes suited. It's the, uh, the the diaper, the diaper, not, not the dirty diaper, of course. Ten have a hearts going into uh, the now muck. Now I feel like a grizzled old live pro right there. The like wait three seconds when you know I'm when I know I'm folding. <laughs> like that, that's ugh. I hate myself that I just did that. Just embarrassing. I try not to do that either. I never do that. I don't know why I just did it there. It's embarrassing. There are times where it's a real decision. Absolutely. I just don't want anyone watching to think that you're supposed to do that there. And just fucking fold and move on, you know? For people wondering, this is not a cash game. This is a sit and go. Whoever wins advances to the next round. And whoever loses sure. has the option to re-challenge. Ace, queen, jack on the flop. Just Broadway for Helmuth versus middle pair to Seaver. This could be interesting. Cool. Helmut is connecting with a lot of boards again so far tonight. Chuck. Okay. 
Not a good card for Phil. Quick give up there for Seaver on the turn. Meaning that we are almost back to even, Donnie, after Seaver took a nice lead. I was looking for some cards there. <laughs> <laughs> I already had a straight, so. Did you really? Yeah, no, maybe at a jack. Can, can we find a jack for the man? No, mm. Nothing personal. Wow, I mean, I'll tell you this. Jack comes, I'm drawing live. <laughs> So it's actually risky, you know? Yeah, like maybe you, you win an extra 50,000, but what if you just lose? <laughs> what if the river's a four, you what know? If you, what if, what you if had, the river's what a if four? What if like eight, nine and hit a 10 and... True. What if, Donnie? What if? <laughs> oh boy, this match is really different than the previous ones that we've watched. Yeah, and it's interesting because this is the biggest match we've had. Yeah, it is. You know, you, you would think that there'd be more pressure, the stakes are way higher. But no, these guys are playing like it's the, the 50K round. For those new to the format, high stakes duel starts with a $50,000 match, and then every single round, the buy in doubles. I'm going to have to wait to see the river. Until a player wins three matches in a row. Well, that one I got to check. Leading up to round four. King. Or King's good. two in a row starting in round four. That's what I had to wait to see. Might have turned a queen on me. Oh, there's the music. Poker Go Hold'em is here. Free to play online poker available on your favorite device. Go to your app store and try it out. Poker Go Hold'em. It's available right now. Got some cool avatars mixed in there as well. Brent Hanks will guide you on your poker journey on Poker Go Hold'em. Give it a chance. It's a fun little social game to play on the side as you're watching the action here on High Stakes Duel. Let me remind you real quick, we have eight minutes left on the free broadcast. Kicking it over to Brent Hanks and Nick Schulman on the main station for the remainder of this match. You can bet 16, right? Oh, yes, yeah, so 16, sorry. What do I have again? Oh, my God, it is that. Pocket sixes really just came in there. Oh, that's so nice. Sixty-six hundred. I couldn't be king high, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> couldn't beat the king high, but I had a nice little open end. Nice little opportunity. Ooh, a nice little ten nine suited. Come on, it wasn't suited. I thought we weren't lying. You and I both know it wasn't suited. Yeah, 10 9 of hearts. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Can't raise with that. I don't want you out of there, you know? All right. Checky. Check. Check. All right, we have five minutes left on the free preview stream here on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. And I'm just going to toss one out here 5, for the fans in just a second. Big giveaway. Wow, Ryan DePaula with a big shout out for Poker Go. He says, paying for Poker Go is absolutely worth it, you guys. You're clearly poker fans, and if you're here watching this, and I know you waste money on Hulu or some crap you don't even watch. Preach. I just canceled a whole bunch of these things. You think he's I trying to get drafted in 25K? He could be. Ryan, Ryan, let us know how much Butter you're playing. Buttering up to us? Buttering up to us. It, trust me, it works. Well, if I didn't bluff off 75,000, I might be doing You'd be doing great. Yeah. I'd be You'd doing be doing 75,000 well. better. Yeah. You've won, you've won every hand. We got almost 5,000 wow. people watching I just right now, Donnie. 75. But oh, well. that's what we're here for. On you know? Are we YouTube? Even? I want to yeah, say something, but. <laughs> but you can't. I can't. <laughs> maybe next time I bet 75, I'll have the nuts. Maybe. Or maybe it'll be another bluff. I was about to say, I guess we're going to find out, though, you know? <laughs> I want to do something crazy right now. If we can pick 6, up 100 YouTube subscribers in the next five minutes, I'm going to give away a free annual PokerGo subscription. Oh, damn. Yeah. 
I didn't calling. approve that one. I would like <laughs> my boss to know I did not approve that giveaway. It's all Remco. It's coming out of pocket. 100 YouTube subscribers in the next five minutes, and I'll give away a free I annual like Pogo sub. Chips and I'll, the small one. I'll Makes credit it to like you I right away. Aim for. Immediately. You know, goals to have. Boy, did I mess up. I didn't even look at you that hand. I just re-raced. I didn't use any of my best abilities. Yeah, because you got excited. I'm just like, let me make it, yeah, with 10 No, nine. because in advance, you're like, nine. Scott's going to do this, and then I did it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you were just like, oh, we're following the script. You know what I mean? I was thinking. It's very easy to act fast when the script gets followed. Like, that's very normal. Yeah. I took a screenshot. Donnie can see us as, as the accountant. Like, we can see our starting point. Okay. We're going to we have to hit it. Let's go. Let's go. Climb, climb, climb. Yeah, I was thinking this is a script. Yeah. That's not how I win my matches. Yeah, I, I'm not saying it was good. I'm just saying that's I very normal. I just have more, to look at you, see three kings, to do. Yeah. and just fold. Correct. But okay. At least All I'll right. show you that I can stuff 75 in with 10 nine. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> Maybe other people didn't, but I knew that. <laughs> but it's okay, and on we fight. <laughs> how did people not know that? Did they not see the queen forehand? I use my <laughs> biggest ability. Oof. Oh boy. Oh boy. Three yeah. minutes left, guys. Pretty much smash, dead even in chips. Smash subscribe. We're going to do a giveaway among all the subscribers in the chat okay. right now. Didn't even use. Uh, I will say this in all my matches, I don't remember just blindly raising that much. Yeah. Got it. You got it. At least. You, you got caught up in the moment. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah. In my yeah. mind, I'm like. You're like, oh, this is a Scott. He's going to check raise because, like, you know. He's yeah. Check raise light because that's what he wants to do. Donnie, what did this I say again? You, you got a similar. We both better think to, about hands of poker the same way. You know what I mean? I can't say anything. Right yeah, there. I know me neither. It's better to ask for forgiveness than for permission. Yes. So because someone said, "Are you? Is this coming out of your pocket, Remco?" Well, it might be, but we'll we'll find out. <laughs> Cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> All right, two minutes left to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're going to give away a free annual sub to everyone who is subscribed. Ooh, here comes the music. The rules of the duel. One more time here. Heads up, no limit. Hold them. The blinds escalate every 30 minutes. Winner stays. Loser has the first option to challenge. If the loser declines, challenger's seat is open for 30 days. Cash out rules depend on rounds one. All right, two minutes left, two minutes left. Smash subscribe on the YouTube channel. And if you're already subscribed, it doesn't matter because the giveaway is going to go to the chat. Sure. I'm, I'm going to have a magic question you guys have to answer in the chat, right. and then I'm going to pick a random winner. Yeah, you can't have tens and eights, huh? I can't. Oh. By the way, Brent Hanks and Nick Schulman on the call. Oh. Ace four offsuit. Where am I going to go? It's ten eight six. All right, one minute left oh. to subscribe to the channel, and then I'm going to ask the question. And then you guys. Say, I'm not putting any money in that one. You know what I mean? Have to just answer the question. I'm going to dra draw a random pops. name then, from the chat. Then I'm putting in some money. That's true. Oh man, you're supposed That's to raise true. with Ace four, bet the flop like everybody else. Yeah, it's just a di different I game here. I limp in with my medium pair. I flop my set. I just call you. I yeah. Just call you. Ooh. Comes nice ace, ace. I'm, you know, at the bar <laughs> drinking, being like, bartender, you won't believe what happened. <laughs> Check. All right, final minute here. Check. Question coming up right after this hand. I'm going to ask the question, and the, w the, the random draw is going to happen from the answers to that question. So it's fair game for everyone. Fair game to everyone. Silence. Silence. I finally have nothing to say, and neither do they. So it's all good. After this hand, we're going to do the draw. Or ask like the question. Like the video, sub to the channel. Exactly. Check. Oh, we don't, we don't even have a thousand likes yet? Come on, you guys. Check would have got you some money. If you, had, if you had a hand, check gets you some money there. Let's hit a thousand you likes. You didn't have a hand. You lose the pot on it. Yeah. Check, I'm sure. All right, here Ooh. comes question. Who is your favorite poker player of all time? That's the question. There's Bill no, Ivey. There's no wrong, wrong answers. Put it in the chat. Who is your favorite poker player of all time? Put it in the chat. We've got like two minutes oh. to send in your answers. Six and while you're at it, smash like, subscribe to the channel. I'll pick a random winner to get the free annual sub. One random winner. Who's your favorite player? Call. 
Let's hear it right now in the chat. And by the way, thanks everyone for tuning in. We appreciate it. The match does continue at the you end of this hour. Yourself. So you took that second and you looked. On Poker Go. Trying to dance between S Scott Seavers sure. talking is proven to be very difficult. Oh, someone said I'm their favorite poker player. There you go. Trying to butter up again. Yeah. Chuck. It would work, but it's random, so Eight it doesn't. <coughs> Boom. So many names passing through the chat. Really appreciate it. Oh, thanks to uh, Edwin Lockman for the super chat. He says, Phil, baby. There's lots of Phil's in poker. Which one? Though. Phil Galfon? Phil Locke? Locke? Phil Gordon? Phil Gordon, wow. Little green book of poker, Phil Gordon? I'm seeing lots of Garrett Adelstein. I'm seeing lots of Ivy, lots of Helmuth. That's a bad read. I thought you had something on that 6-6 six, six board. Lots of Negron wow. you in there. Yeah. You had a draw, I guess. Yeah. Antonius. I was like, he has something. He's calling. I, I did have something, you know what I mean? One minute left. Type of something. Check. One minute left to yeah. s send in your favorite player name. Okay. And yeah. then, of course, we're going to close out the show. And for the Check. player who's about to win, Check. send a DM to PokerGo on Twitter with a screenshot of your 35. you logged into your YouTube account. That's the only way I can verify. And I will look at our message requests, Call. and I will send you that login code for PokerGo ASAP. Ooh, Free annual sub coming Ooh. your way if you are the See? lucky winner. Always something to be happy for. 30 seconds no. left. Send them in. Ooh, nine would have been ugly. Ooh. Nine, nine would have been not good for you. <laughs> nine would have been ugly. Flank's bad, too, because now I have to bluff. Yeah. There, there is not a lot good happening there. All right. Maybe next time you don't play garbage like five high, you know? Coming up on the end here. <laughs> you wouldn't find yourself in these spots. <laughs> if only you had a little bit more discipline. Five, three suited, 4,000. Five, three suited right here. That's how you play it. Done. I'm not, I'm not falling for these traps. I would have preferred to limp if I knew you were going to fold, believe it or not. But here's the thing. So you're pushing the action more than you normally do. You're getting out of your own comfort zone. Oh, no, I'm very comfortable. Each, each, each opponent demands Brings their own beautiful strategy. challenge, absolutely. Each opponent brings a different strategy. I couldn't agree more. Strategy. Couldn't agree more. And the winner is, I got a winner. I got a winner. The winner is Benningfield. Benningfield, who said Chip Reese is his favorite player. Check. Do you have five high again? Benningfield, congrats. Send a DM on Twitter to PokerGo, and I'll credit you with the promo code for a free year. 42. Free. Oh, God, you're one of those young kids that just throws right. in the $100 Final hand right now reason. of the action. If you're new to the channel, we're kicking it over to Brent Hanks and Nick Schulman on the call on the main station. Benningfield, congrats. Reach out to us on Twitter. Call. Call. Tens? No good. Unless you mean three of them. No. If you enjoy our content, please hit the notification bell as well on our channel. We have daily new clips coming out. Highlights also, of course, of this match. And more high stakes poker action as well. Okay. Ah, fuck. All right, thank you guys all so much for tuning in. This was the free preview of High Stakes Duel 3 Round 4. Continue watching right and now on PokerGo.com. Use the promo code DUEL34 to take $20 off the annual subscription. There it is on your screen. Continue watching right now. And, of course, that also means you get the entire WSOP, the upcoming Poker Master Super High Roller Bowl, and the entire new season of High Stakes Poker. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. My name is Ram Karinkama. Donnie Peters right next to me. We enjoyed doing this for you guys. And uh, Benningfield, please hit us up on Twitter as we're going to send you the free annual sub. Thanks, guys. See you next time.